Hey, welcome back to the Improvement Channel. Today, we're gonna to put some rafters up. I'm so excited. We did get a little bit of rain early this morning, but it's got things cooled down. Everything's a little wet, so I'm trying to stay out of the mud, but luckily, I saw that it was gonna rain last night. I cleaned up the job site, blew all the extra sawdust off of the concrete, so I've got a good working space, and hopefully, we can dodge some raindrops and get a bunch done. Let's get started. So here I am getting some prep ready to put in some rafters. Uh, first thing I'm doing, I'm putting in the galvanized piece to hold up the rafter. I put three nails, at least three nails in all of those. And then I put uh, five more nails into the rafter. So it really gets it in there secure. When you're not punching a nail through in grain, um, you just get a lot better holding power. Uh, I will tell you a little fun fact towards the end of the video about what the city uh, said about those and how that ended up. Earlier in the video I mentioned that I'd blown out all the sawdust because I knew it was going to rain overnight. and just didn't want a, uh, a mess to work in that next day. The concrete's real pleasant to work on when it's wet. It just dries up quick after the rain stops and you're good to go. But I made all that sawdust by cutting bird's mouths. Uh, on the back of the rafters. So you see how these rafters attach to this plate here that I'm putting these galvanized pieces on. That's kind of my focus here on this video. But the bird's mouth is already cut in the rafter and it sits over the other plate and kind of helps it lock into place. I believe there's a brief spot later in the video where I can uh, kind of show you what that looks like. I'll try to make sure I point that out for you. I'm not sure how many hours of video that you're going to be looking at here in this fast motion. Most all of this video is going to be in fast motion just because it's all kind of a slow go. Uh, I know there's at least three hours of video on here and this was probably around 16 hours of actual work that was done uh, just putting up the rafters and the sheeting that you're going to see on this video. So just uh, know that that's what you're in for. A lot of this uh, fast motion video. Hope you find it interesting. If you got a second, uh, be a good time to hit that subscribe button and that like button. And of course, if you got somebody that might enjoy this, you might share it with them. Would really appreciate that. So here you can see me using the pneumatic nailer, the framing nailer, to uh, nail the bird mouths down to the back plate. So these rafters will sit on top of that back plate, so it makes it real easy to do with the nail gun and it's real fast. I had everything all marked out, ready to go. So right here I'm moving a couple uh, down that I'd set up there just because I was getting too far over the trailer and I wanted to get that OSB up there on top before I went any further and it was going to make make it harder to move that. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these all tossed up here uh, off the trailer and I'm getting up here on the roof to move them around and all that kind of fun stuff. Kind of had to be real careful watching my step. A couple near misses but nothing major. Luckily this is uh, real easy to work with because it's just eight feet off the ground on the high side and just a little bit better than six feet off the ground on the uh, low side. So here's a shot on top of the house. I have the tripod sitting in the gutter and on the roof of the house so you can kind of see over uh, where the hidden shed is going to be. It probably gives you a little bit, a little bit better idea of what the hidden shed is going to look like. Um, it's only going to be really visible from the backyard. People that are driving by uh, will only see just an eight foot tall fence. You'll probably see a couple gates in there but really just looks like a gate to the backyard or a large gate to the side from the side yard to the side yard or a small walk gate to the backyard um, unless you were driving by and saw it being built uh, you'd really never know that it was there 
I mentioned earlier that I was going to tell you something the city said about those joist hangers or those rafter hangers. So they didn't want rafter hangers. They wanted joist hangers. They wanted something that went up under the um, rafter like a joist hanger does. So I had the choice of either coming back and putting the type of hangers that they wanted or framing up a wall under it to support that load. And uh, they also required on the other end uh, hurricane clips to uh, hold down the roof to keep the wind from blowing it up. So, uh, And also they required some more posts to be installed because the posts that were there already were for the fence. And they wanted some posts there for the roof as well. So uh, kind of run the cost up a little bit more on the bill. Nothing too crazy. It was just expensive in general. Um, hey, if you didn't get a chance to earlier, great time to hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that like button while you're there. It's greatly appreciated. But I'm just going to let the rest of this video run. I'm going to play a little music. We're uh, basically just finishing up, putting all the OSB down. And at the end, um, we'll get that all trimmed out. Uh, or get the OSB all trimmed off and uh, catch us on next week. We're going to go ahead and put the rest of the fence up. Uh, I'm going to show you how what kind of uh, mechanism I'm, I'm going to use on the uh, walk gate. So look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks for watching.